If you want to be free from that uh, fast life and you need silence, uh, you, you have to choose Dangwa because, I mean, if you are here, you don't hear any sound of a vehicle. It's just like you and the sound of birds and animals. And uh, landscape is very awesome. When you're driving around, you might have seen the mountains. I mean, it's, if you are driving in one of the 4x4 four four routes inside a park or you're driving in one of the roads, it's, it's very uh, breathtaking. If we do have wildlife as well that uh, people can see. Uh, so it is a bonus, but I mean, most importantly, it's quietness and, and very remote. We've got, well, the Rochefeld Mountains, that's lovely, you know, on the side. We've got people going into the kloof to go and camp and so on. That is the one, one part of it. And then you've got the plains to the other side, where you get more of the animals, the, the things like Hemsbok, Irland, uh, Kudu, and so on, you'll get them on the plains. Tangwa is also known for birds watching. Um, we have got the annual uh, event that we call it uh, as Tangwa Birds Bonanza. We've got campsites, formal and informal campsites. Former campsites, you've got your own private ablutions, your own kitchen, uh, shower and toilet facilities, whereas our informal sites, there's nothing. It's just a designated place where you camp. You have to bring your own water, everything. You have to be self-sufficient in every way. Not even a bush toilet. <laughs> there's nothing. Then we've got the, the farmhouses, the, like the safer posh fontaine and also. Those were actually old farmhouses uh, that were taken over when uh, the farms were taken over. Those were the places people actually lived. So we had to renovate here and there, but now we are selling it as, as guest accommodation.